villain. He's so close. That's a very good klaxon, because God is it annoying. Well, let's see what's going on, bro, bro. Ooh, shit. Oh, Blackrock didn't do a whole lot. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can I get that, please? Thank you. Hello. Can you hear me? Jesse. Hmm. Can I get through any of this? No. Keep doing that. Shortly, though, I'm certain. Alright, before I talk to... Are you there, Jesse? Well, I guess I'm don't ready? get a choice. He's gone. Dylan isn't here. Boy, is he not. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. Mm. I'm on my way. We need to get back. I have to see my brother. Well, this sucks. Dylan Faden, observation. Well, 9.30, breakfast, not bad. 11.45, gets out of bed, uses toilet, returns to bed. Uh, 11.57, ask television to be turned off, staff to uh, do so. 12 o'clock, lunch is brought, breakfast is removed. 12.02, eats lunch. 2.38, uses toilet. 4.03, begins talking to self, recording speech is not possible due to noise from television. Oh, television turned on, haha. <laughs> mm. 4.07, becomes upset, throws lunch straight glass. 4.09, today, a crew uh, clean cell, television is turned off. 6.12, Comes to ask for television to be turned on. Staff refuse. Six sixteen sleeps question mark. Our asterisk says television privileges were removed due to hostile behavior. Fair, but maybe you know. Maybe don't. All right, our Biscoff TV. Oop, number seven. Got four twenty two nineteen seventy nine. All right. Sorry, I had to burp. No unique containment procedures required. Well bound. Description: para utility. Para utility. There we go. CRT television built uh, by Benkoff and Son Sons Electronics. Boy, not Sons. Sons. The screen is still functional. The object can levitate itself off the ground to a maximum reserved altitude of blank. When bound, the object allows para utilitarians to harness the effect on their own use. See so report blank for the results tested with prime candidates. Four? Object is currently bound by blank. Background. The object was first discovered in a local news story from blank Kansas. The figure had been seen hovering over buildings. The bureau dispatched agents to the town who discovered the man named James Heverford had bound himself to the object. Mr. Heverford was detained. See case 39HQ656. And the object was brought to the bureau for study. Isn't that nice? What we got from the hotline? I've already seen that. I said I haven't seen that. What are you seen that? What are you doing? Come on. Face the enemy. Uh, no, we gotta get to this guy. Because the last thing I need is an outbreak. I don't have. Anybody want to give me six? Can I go down in here? I can. Oh, shit. <sighs> that levitate's pretty handy. Fuck, man. 
Ooh, recording. All right, I won't take up too much of your time today, Dylan. Like I said, I want to talk about Jessie, your sister. What about her? I just want to get your perspective. What do you think of her? What kind of person is she? That sort of thing. I adored my sister. When I was little, I mean, back in ordinary. And you don't anymore? When I first got here, sure. I'd always hoped she'd come too. Find me, take me home. We went everywhere together. Why should this be any different? Casper said she could come too, to the Bureau, if she wanted to. But she never did. Why do you think that is? Because she didn't care about me. She always wanted to be out on her own, seeing the world. She always said so. I guess she got what she wanted. Great. So, she wanted to see the world. Did she ever mention any place in particular? Why? We like to ask questions around here. You know that. Any particular cities, towns, landmarks? I'm trying to trick her ass down. I don't remember. What about family friends? Were you close with anyone living outside of ordinary? I'm done with this. Tell Casper I want pizza for lunch today. Dylan, wait. We're not... End of session. Yeah, maybe don't piss off the guy that has uh, prime candidate abilities. I don't know. I'm just the guy that mops the floors. What do I know? Damn, this family has ruined this joint. God, that's so much black rock. Holy shit. I really dig the levitate ability. Aha! There is something over here. A remote thought. Well, I don't need that. Anything else to be nabbed in here? Oh, there's got to be something back here. Come on. Shelving units. The nerve. Oh, okay. So if I could have unlocked that door, I could have gotten that chest. But I can't, so I can't. Instead, I'll wait for these doors to slowly open. And then... here. Keep your eyes open. Hey, what can I do? Oh, you're back. Oh, thank you. Thank you. If, if I look away, I don't know what this thing will do. You have to get me out of here. The door can only be opened by the Panopticon supervisor. That's Langston, if he's still around. Langston. Yeah, I know him. I'll go ask him how to get you out. Please hurry. My eyes. These heads. They can't. Hey, calm down. Just focus. What's your name? Focus. Right. My, my, my name's Philip, and I think I can hold on for a bit. It's just my eyes. My eyes hurt so much. Just hang on, Philip. Shit. All right. But first, before we do any of that important crap. Da, da, da. 20% more energy. It's 3 and 3. Uh, works on job objects. Ooh, we got more stuff with. <laughs> oh, almost. All right. Quickly, quickly, quickly. No. Oh, yep.
fast travel. Uh, where the hell is he? No, God, not there. Oh, that's fast. I told Salvador. Good. No, why listen to Langston? I'm just a pen off. There's someone named Philip up in a cell. He's watching the refrigerator and very rapidly losing it. Philip? Oh shit, I forgot about fridge duty. He's been in there for over a day, I totally forgot. You forgot about him? How the hell? There's a lot going on. The hiss, the Benikoff TV. Considering the number of things I'm juggling, ma'am, I think it's- Listen, it's fine. We just need to get him out of there. He said you'd be able to open the cell door? Yeah, I can unlock it on my terminal. There. Done. Door. Open. But Philip can't just leave. The fridge is behaving erratically. Ocular contact is the only thing that seems to placate it. If we don't have someone in there watching it 24-7, people will die. I'll figure something out. I'm pretty good with these things. Being pretty good with altered items isn't standard bureau procedure, ma'am. He doesn't know us very well. Uh, do I want to know anything this dude does? What's your background, man? How did you get this job? Started as a junior agent because my uncle knew a guy. From there, I got put on a desk until an accident left the containment sector severely understaffed. At which point, I got bumped up to management. Put in a oh, steady fuck. eight hours a day for another ten years, and voila! Supervisor. I just picked up a gun. Or a gun picked me. I mean, know about Trench. Did you work closely with Trench? Oh, he spent most of his time with Darling and all them. The inner circle. Not that I care. Trench certainly had his favorites. He did stop in occasionally to scowl and smoke. Did you know the Bureau has a no smoking policy? It does. Just not for Trench. <laughs> Still, he is the one who put aside funding for the Panopticon. The man did have vision. All right. Do explain this one well, to what's me. What's the difference between objects of power and altered items? Think of them like storms. Objects of power are like tropical cyclones or hurricanes for the uneducated. They're big, rare, and scary. Of course, directors can just bind the OOP and become the eye of the storm. Altered items are more like weird thunderstorms. Some may rain frogs, some may rain corn, but they all rain something. And how does the hiss factor into all that? It's changing them, making them aggressive. Now they're all raining, I don't know, knives. Knife rain. Nice metaphor. It's, yeah, it's not the worst in the world. How do you keep the altered items under control? It depends on the item. Each one has different needs. Ritualistic touches go a long way. Singing to them. Did he say singing? Flipping the lights three times, that sort of thing. It's not Rule superstition three. if it works. Fuck. Do you like working at the FBC? Sure. I mean, yeah, the drama's a bit much, but I get better benefits here than I would over at the Postal Service. I checked. Better health care. That's not to say I don't like my job, ma'am. Been here over 15 years. No one knows the Panopticon collection better than me. I'm, uh... Close to them, in a way. I can't You're tell gonna if be that's creepy later. or normal here. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Return to Philip. Let's return to Philip. Shall we? He's already left. No, he hasn't. Oh, Jesse, I'm back. I'm coming in. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh. 